So Monique's interview with Club Shay Shay, Shannon Sharp, has just dropped recently. And I want to talk a little bit about Monique and why I feel like she's such a woman of truth and integrity. And I want to play a little bit of the interview and give my thoughts on it. Y'all stay tuned. Much love, peace, and blessings to everybody checking into the video. This your boy, Get a Mic. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, I invite you to subscribe, hit the bell icon, and uh, like the video. Um, really appreciate everybody checking in. And uh, let's get right into this clip. And I want to talk about Monique. Uh, she has had a lot of situations that happened in the past with the whole Netflix situation and how she's not getting paid correctly. Uh, we've seen the argument that she had between her and um, Steve Harvey, where Steve Harvey was talking about getting, you know, being trying to get the money for his family and not messing up the bag and how she showed that she was serious about the integrity, about doing things right. And uh, she kind of doubled down on that type of stuff here in this interview, which is a three hour interview. So we only going to cover a small part of it in this particular video. Uh, but without further ado, let's see what she's talking about. I would have still wanted to do it, but seeing her let me say, OK, it's possible. It's right there. Right. What was Monique like as a little girl? What you seeing right now, baby, ain't nothing. <laughs> so you always... I just got, listen, let me tell you something. A lot of people in this industry don't like me, right? Yeah. They didn't like me as a little girl, Shannon. I'm so used to this shit. People didn't <laughs> like me because I was going to tell it. I'm right. going to tell. I'm going to tell on you. <laughs> so what you said right now is the same thing you did. They tried to fight my ass in the 12th grade, Shannon. They surrounded me, right. a group of them. Okay, wanted to fight on me. Why? Because I told the truth. <laughs> what you tell? I told, I told Andre that that was not Lamar's baby. Because oh, that's, what Lamar, that's what Lamar. That ain't your place. Let me tell. Wait a minute. <laughs> now let me stop the video. I'm not trying to play his whole video. You guys go over su support the uh, interview, Shannon Sharp Club Shay Shay. But I do want to give. <laughs> I want to give my commentary and I feel like that's exactly how it is and, and if anybody had that knows me personally since a child You know, that is exactly how I feel when it comes down to telling the truth Okay, whether it's a small joke on somebody or playing hide-and-seek it's, it's always been hard for me to keep the secret or keep the truth Suppressed and I understand exactly how she feel because a lot of times Let's say we playing ball and we hooping and we out there on the courts and of course it's you know street ball and um, somebody, uh, you know, the, the ball goes out of bounds and bounces off somebody. Or if it bounces off me, sometimes I can't help but to say, hey, man, it touched me. You know what I'm saying? Make the whole team mad at your boy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like, Mike, man, be quiet, bro. We almost had the ball. But it's like, hey, man, it touched me, bro. What you want me to do? Like, I'm that type of guy to just tell the truth at all costs. I can't hold the lie. So what Monique is talking about right here. I totally, totally understand her. But let's finish up this interview. We're going to give our thoughts. Oh, sugar, you're going to calm yourself down? Okay? <laughs> Do you see Shannon losing herself? Do you want to back that up, Shannon? <laughs> Let me tell you something. Okay. Okay? I'm a person for right. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. And if you tell me something and you say, Monique, I've done something to somebody, but don't say nothing. Shannon, I'm going to need you to fix that. Because if you don't fix it, I'm going to have to tell that because it's wrong. So when she tells me this is not his baby, but I'm going to tell him it's his baby. I can't let you do that. Facts, 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 facts. Round of applause. Let's go. And that's really what it boils down to. And a lot of people don't understand. And they'll they'll call people like that a snitch or mind your business. Stay out of it. I understand minding business. Trust me, I'm, I'm all about minding your business. But however, when you pull me into a situation and I see something that I know is not right, it's almost like, come on, man, I can't, you know, I got too much integrity. I got too much dignity to let people sit up there and lie like that. It's hard to do so. If you if you a person of truth and a person of dignity, it's almost impossible for you to let people uh, get away with lying, cheating, and deceiving. It's almost impossible. It's like you just can't do it. So I totally understand what she's talking about. That's not right. Wow. So what I stand for is right. And, and I think where we run into a problem in our community, mm -hmm. in our group, we get so caught in, well, that's not your place, but you see wrong happening, right? Mm -hmm. So when you see wrong happening, what you do? Do you just stand back and say, that ain't my business? Or do you look and say, well, I knew that wasn't his baby. Now the baby 21 years old and he's trying to find his father. Mm -hmm. What you going to do? 
I'm asking you, what you gonna do? Well, honestly, Monique, if somebody say, well, Shannon, I'm going to tell you something and I'm going to tell you this in confidentiality and I don't want to go any further than me, you and this table. Yes. It stays with me, him and the table. Well, let me say this, because I'm going to go back and forth <laughs> with your hands, OK? <laughs> I would say before you tell me, did you hurt somebody? Yeah, OK, yes. Before you tell me, <clears throat> is this something that would make me question your character? Facts. Facts. And shout out to Monique. She's a real one. She's a real one. And in this interview, she just speaks so much real. Um, she got up, dressed nice. She looks good. Got her hair done. You know, she's just a real, she gives you a real good vibe, this woman here. Always has on all the TV shows she played on. She just always seemed like the type of person that's just so warming and comfortable. And you could just, you could, you could feel comfortable around her. You could feel comfortable talking to her. You know she'll listen to you. Um, if you come with the BS, you know she's going to tell you the truth. She's not going to sugarcoat nothing to you. She just gives you that real auntie type of big sister type of feel. And, um, you know, it's, it's something something refreshing to watch on TV, to be honest. You know what I mean? So that's how I feel about it. Before you tell me, you got to be clear about what you get ready to tell me. Because if you're getting ready to tell me something and I know that you've done something wrong, I know that you're wrong and I not say anything, that's why... People are allowed to keep harming people for years to come. See Harvey Weinstein? Yes. Well, there's a lot of people that knew what was happening. But and it felt it wasn't their place. It wasn't, it wasn't their place. them. Right, until it becomes you. So I think the moment we get into a space, and I was in the 11th grade at the time, right. okay? But when we get into a space where we say, listen, if I know you're doing wrong, and I take a position that's not my place, Eventually, you will succumb to what you support. What was your relationship with the young? Facts. Because there's only two sides in this earth. There's right and there's wrong. And nine times out of ten, if you are a person of truth, you're going to stand for what you believe is right. And you're not going to be on the side of the wicked. And in this case, what she's talking about is, excuse me. Just have some Chipotle. <laughs> but anyway, um, either you on the side of the wicked and you doing wicked with the evil. OK, that's something different. That will be considered snitching. If you rolling with the wicked, you doing stuff that you're not supposed to and you get in trouble for it and, and, and then you snitch. Or even if you don't get in trouble, you just rolling with the wicked and then you tell and you tell on them. But however, if you're going to stand in and stand on what you believe in. And, and speak truth no matter what that's not snitching it's like hey man like monique just said you about to tell me something i need to know right now did you do something you wasn't supposed to do did you do something negative did you do something wrong because if you did i don't want no parts with it i don't want you to tell me nothing about it because i am gonna go say something about it because i gotta do what's right and i think that's pretty much the the the, the integrity that i was talking about that Monique has, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you out there have, is like, we want to stand on truth, we want to stand on what's right, and we want to stand on morals, and, and the creator, and all of that stuff like that is how we want to move about in this earth, man, so uh, I don't want to stay too long in this video, I will be doing some more videos on this particular interview, because there's a lot of gems that we can pull out of here, I do have a basketball game to go to tonight, my son's game, and I am on the motorcycle, so I don't want to be out too late, because it is going to get cold, and I don't think I brought too much gear with me so it's gonna get kind of cold so um i am gonna have to leave the studio a little bit early today but um i just want y'all to know that i you know really enjoyed this interview i'm still gonna finish watching it because it's extremely long but um she she came in the show she did her thing shannon sharp did his thing as usual seems like he got the hottest podcast of the year right now everybody's tuning in to whatever he dropped so um he's gonna have a lot of success a lot of people come on his show man so you guys go out there tune in check it out and all that good stuff but that's pretty much all i got for this video um if you guys got any future videos that you want me to talk about feel free to drop it in the comments i'll be doing community tab posts to let you to kind of get a poll on what type of stuff that you guys like to listen to uh here and uh, we're going to try to, you know, get ramp up the, the amount of videos we do as time go on. I don't want to, um, you know, start off just flooding the system. But eventually we're going to start doing more and more a little bit at a time, two, three videos a day, stuff like that. And then try to try to ramp it up, man. So that's pretty much all I got for this one. Much love, peace and blessings. It's your boy, get a mic and I'll be out of here like last year.
I would have been swallowed. 